morning, Gordon. Oh, hello, Rebecca. Getting ready for another exciting day pulling the express? Isn't it fun to go flying down the line? Fun? It's a very serious job, Rebecca. No fun and games to be had here. Oh, well, I only thought... Well, you thought wrong. Oh, dear. Hello, Rebecca. Are you about to fill up with coal? Huh? Oh, yes. Sorry, Henry. Rebecca, is everything all right? I'm fine. It's just... it's Gordon. He doesn't seem to like me all that much. I'd really like to be his friend, but it doesn't seem he wants to. Oh, that's just how Gordon is sometimes. He doesn't like changes, and the Northwestern Railway has changed a lot. New engines are arriving to the island, Rosie is now working on Thomas's branch line, Toby is now sleeping at Olvstead Castle. Just give him some time. He'll lighten up. Well, I certainly hope those clouds lighten up. What? Oh my, looks like a storm's coming in. Well, let's hope it passes. I don't like working in the rain. Neither do I. Oh, rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day, if you don't mind. Oh no! Rebecca! Stop! Stop! Out of my way, Slippy Wheels! Whoa! Oh, sorry, Rebecca. You'll have to wait for the next green signal. A storm! I haven't seen one this bad in a long time! The only time I've seen the weather like this was back on my old railway. It had been shut down for an entire day due to repairs. Well, let's hope the Northwestern doesn't have to go through something like that. Whoa! Hey! Oh! Close the door! Sorry! Bickerstone Rolling Bridge is damaged due to the storm. I was on my way back to the mainland but had to turn back. Caitlin made it back though. Oh, I hope she's okay. Oh, great. So now we're stuck here. No need to worry, everyone. We're all safe and sound in Vickerstown Sheds. Good morning, everyone. I can't... Re oh. What a mess. Where's Percy and Rosie? Their drivers came in early. They said the storm had caused quite a mess on the Farquhar branch line, so they had to go and clear the tracks of debris. Yes, and I'm afraid some of you shall be tasked with helping with repairs as well. Now the railway isn't entirely closed, we will continue with normal trains as usual, but I will need three of you to help workmen with repairs. James, you will be collecting workmen from Knapford and bringing them to Harwick. 
Emily, you shall collect supplies from the docks and take them to Great Waterton. Henry, you must collect the breakdown train and head to the viaduct. It was damaged badly, so I'll need you two to help with repairs. Rebecca shall meet you there with supplies and materials for the workmen. You all know your jobs. Now off you go! Right! Yes, sir! I'm on my way. Now, Gordon, you will be taking the express today as usual. However, due to a lot of debris on the track, I'm afraid you'll need to limit your speed. So unfortunately, you'll need to go slower than you usually do when you pull the express. And you'll need to take the loop line, the one that goes through Cabelnew. But sir, the express is the most important train on the line. I can't go slow or take detours. You shall do as you are told. Safety first. Hmm. Oh, the indignity. <gasps> Perhaps if I skip taking on cold water, then I can make it to my destinations on time. Oh, Gordon. Surprised to see you here on time. What with the storm and all. Yes, Philip. An engine must always be on time when he is expected to pull a train as important as the express. All right, then. You, uh, filled up on coal and water, right? Oh, um, yes, I did, yes. Get in quickly, please. Oh, bother. Where is Rosie with the passengers? I'm running late. Hello, Bertie. Have you seen Rosie by any chance? She was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. She's still busy with clearing debris from the tracks on the branch line. Daisy was meant to bring the passengers, but she ended up getting stuck in flooded tracks, so I had to bring them for her. Well, you certainly took your time. I'm sorry. So many roads are closed. I had to take the long way. Ugh, never mind. You're here now, so that's all that matters. Oh, Gordon! Gordon! You're running low on coal! Oh no. He'll be in trouble soon. Oh, I feel so foolish going slow. I'm pulling the express, for goodness sake. Perhaps if I go fast, well, just a little bit faster, I can get ahead of Rebecca and take my normal route. That way I won't have to take a silly loop line. Express coming through! Oh, Gordon, you can't go down that way! The viaduct has been repaired! Can't stop! The express never stops! Oh dear. Well, I'm going that way anyhow. Express coming through! Gordon! Oh, that's funny, I'm going a lot slower than usual. Gordon! Get off the bridge! I don't know if I can. What's happened? You've run out of coal and water. You're not going anywhere, I'm afraid. Bother! And of all the places you had to get stuck as well! Oh, nonsense, Henry. It can't get any worse.
I've got to get out of here! Luckily, no one boarded the brake coach. Gordon! The bridge is falling apart! What? Oh no! Help me, Henry! I can't! My driver and fireman left for lunch break with the other workmen! Help! Get me off this bridge! Somebody! Anybody! Gordon? What are you doing on the viaduct? Rebecca! Rescue me! What? Gordon's run out of coal and water! He can't move! Help! Where are you going? What is she doing? She's going to crash into you! What? Oh, 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 Rebecca. Rebecca, you saved me. And us. And us. Way to go, Rebecca. You saved the day. certainly done it this time, haven't you? It's one thing to take initiative, but it's another thing to put yourself and others in danger. Not only did you not fill up with coal and water, but you completely disregarded my warning as well, and took your normal route when I specifically told you not to! Well, uh, I don't know what to say, sir. Well, you can think about it another time. Starting today, you are no longer to pull the express and shall stay in the sheds until you are wanted. Henry will shunt you back to the sheds. Well, well, well. Gordon the Express is so important that he doesn't even need cold or water now, does he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really thought you could travel to Vickerstown with a low supply of coal and water? <laughs> Cheer up, Gordon. If you don't get the Express back, perhaps you can work on your tightrope skills. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone! Rebecca! What are you doing here? Oh, just have to turn around so I can make my way back to Vickerstown. Wait! Rebecca, I, I just wanted to say, uh, thank you for helping me. I haven't been a good engine lately, and for that I want to apologize to you. Well, to all of you. I took all my frustrations and anger out on you and the others, and that was unacceptable. I shouldn't have acted the way I have been, but I did, and for that I'm sorry, Rebecca. I'm sorry, Henry. And I'm sorry to all my fellow engines. Oh! Um, uh, thank you, Gordon. That was very kind of you. It takes a big engine to admit when he's been acting silly. And just to prove how sorry I am, why don't you stay here for the night? 
We do have a spot available, plus it's a long way back to Vickers Town, and it'll be dark soon. I think that's a splendid idea, Gordon. Then... I... I will! talk about oh we were just talking about the incident that happened at the viaduct but uh have you heard the news about who's working there late to clear up the mess oh who it's not fair i didn't make this mess why do i gotta be the one to clean it up well, why do we gotta be the ones stuck working with you? Yeah, it ain't no picnic for us either. It's not fair! Cheer up, Diesel 10. At least you're not working alone. I'm here. And so am I. Here you are, Diesel 10. More trucks for you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.